On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Dan and Corey of the Record Setters Organization. We host an epic battle between John Tilton and Roberto Villegas. Who will come out on Record Setter Mount Olympus as the champion? You're going to have to wait to find out on NSFW. Right now. On your iPod. Or your TV. <laughs> Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 105, recorded on December 6th, 2011. Record setters with a Z. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Four, featuring available voice-activated Sync. Sync gives you versatile access to music, podcasts, and more from just about any device. Check it out in the new 2012 Ford Focus and at 4.com slash technology. Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 30% off your new account for three months, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW12. In their tongue, he's Dofa King. Dragonborn. It is time for NSFW, the new show of win, the new sauce for the women. It's the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by the inimitable co-host, Perpetual, holder of the belt, one, Justin Robert Youngles the third. What is up, Professor J.R. Weibles? Oh, my God, Brian. Every once in a while, uh, we like to tell you at the beginning of the show that this is going to be a good show. Most of the times we're lying because the show is so boring that you fall asleep at the wheel of your car and kill a child. Yes. Yeah, so However, <laughs> today our raid of assisted murders ends. Over. We're cutting the streak, baby. Yeah, folks. <laughs> Want to know why? Because we have one of our favorite guests, a guest so controversial that it has taken over 100 episodes for us to get them back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know them from everywhere on the internet as well as uh, the, the records that we've said, me and Brian at, at, the, at the Big Dig Shindig for the last couple of years, uh, Jimmy Fallon, everywhere else on the planet, Dan and Corey from Record Center. Huzzah! Welcome back. Dude, yeah. gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us back. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here and li live in studio. What a, what a treat, and thanks so much for having us. How much has changed since the old days when we were all just hanging out and it was just you and, and our horse apple show? Of course, you were around long before the NSFW show. How long ago did you guys create originally the URDB, now Record Center? Well, uh, we actually are almost three years to the date from... Uh, the day that we turned the site live. It was in beta form. We didn't know what the heck we were building. So, I mean, we, we, we are still very young. But, but I still remember the first time when I came on the NSFW show, you know, I don't know how you guys found us, but I had no idea. I think you guys, I mean, it was one of the very first shows, right, that you guys yeah, did. Yeah, no, we, I, I, I emailed you because I saw you on, on TechCrunch, I do believe. Well, and, yeah, and, and I'll be. tell you, the moment, the moment I read the very concept behind the Universal Records database, it was like, this is the, uh, uh, wait, was it Universal? It was Universal Record Database, okay. and we just, now we're recordsetter.com. Yep. Yeah, okay, well, and, and I do want to talk about the name change here, but the moment I heard about it, I'm like, this is the greatest idea ever. This is, this is something that sounds outrageous at the outset, to have completely user-curated decisions on what makes for a record or doesn't, but also Wikipedia sounds stupid before, but now, who's laughing now? Wikipedia, who's scooping up uh, Wikipedia's poop? Encyclopedia Britannica. Is that, is, is that a parallel that you guys think is fair? Uh, you know, pe yeah, people have said that before, and I think it's a, it's a totally appropriate analogy. I mean, you know, Guinness Book obviously was a huge inspiration to us. We are both, you know, our friendship bonded over our mutual love of world records. But, uh, you know, we wanted to set world records in our youth, and our ideas and, 
you know, skills didn't really fit in with the, the Guinness Book mold. So we said, like, let's just blow it open and, you know, make an open platform that lets anyone anywhere set any world record they want. Okay. So and, now, and they don't ask for personal appeals. <laughs> Which is a good oh yeah. Good yeah. Idea. Can you guys do like a parody of that where you guys are like a personal appeal from Dan Rollman? <laughs> Somebody please, please <laughs> set the record for smelling their own farts. <laughs> please, I, With, I would just like without to see your it. incredible <laughs> records, we don't have anything here at the universe. Well, I guess that's part of the reason you guys changed your name is because you didn't want to be quite a Wikipedia or what was was record set record setter stickier or what? Did, yeah, did it was it was with? a few things. I mean, people thought we were part of Universal Films and Universal Music, which was confusing but I, I think ultimately you know we had uh when we can talk about this but we have our new book out the record set a book of world Huzzah, records yeah no as a matter uh, of fact i which believe you're it's featured on, in and uh, i think it, justin's mentioned in it as well well uh, well for while our brief record existed hold on let me see if i can find it because we just got stomped by that's another thing i want to talk about are these jokers over in spain what's going on with these guys oh it is it is a it's a real yeah, we, we there's this TV show called Ocho Movida in Spain, and they've started this uh, segment called F U Jimmy Fallon. Okay, and now first of all, it's not called F U Jimmy Fallon. It's called the full F U C K Y O U Jimmy Fallon, and the logo is a giant middle finger. With <laughs> you guys told us to be polite on this show. Yeah, no, We're trying okay, to. Well, I was okay. I was even gonna go with fud, I was even gonna go with fudge you Jimmy Fallon. All right, hold no, on. You, me, you did get really accusatory the there, Brian. Like you can't suppress the truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's close enough. That means I win the belt so far for this episode. So I, I, for those of you guys who bet on me, apparently you're you're already okay. Number one contender. But uh, but but like, why the hate for Jimmy Fallon on this show, man? You know, we 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 we've been in touch with their producers, and I think they're just having fun. But it, it's amazing. Like we've set, you know, we've been on Fallon's show half a dozen times, and we've set probably twenty records. And it's like this this prime time show in Spain, which is so entertaining to watch. We hadn't heard of it before, but it seems like it has a huge fan base. They've got us all these new fans in Spain so we're seeing all these submissions coming in from Spain and uh, yeah uh, so, <laughs> so now, now you guys are I you would guys going to go out there uh, we were just joking about it today they've asked us to tape something for the show so we'll definitely do that but uh, hopefully that will end with you know no. next step is uh, I would say I would oh, say I think this, end, this ends with, with uh, Vicky Record Center Barcelona you guys <laughs> out there and you're setting records and you're drinking wine having a good time well, well we, will, we will if that opportunity presents itself we will suggest that, uh, that they bring along the uh, owners of the world's longest Sky 5 to, uh, yeah, I'll to, tell you to what. join us hey, listen the Spaniards you want to quit Picking on on old tiny suit Jimmy Fallon. Come at me, bro. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Let's try Sky Five like Americans. Fun. Justin and, to know. Spain. F you. Exactly. Fudge you, Justin R. Young. <laughs> so, uh, and, and speaking of which, actually, that's that's a question because Justin and I were talking about this. Is there anything about this that makes you guys? I mean, obviously, the Jimmy Fallon show has been very good to you guys, giving you a ton of exposure. Do you feel beholden to it, or do you guys just regard yourselves as the Don King? Of, of world records where you're like, you know, oh, it's going down now. The Spaniards versus the New Yorkers. Who's it going to be? You know, I mean, I think our approach to all this is is we just try and stay neutral and enjoy the ride. I mean, you know, our, we say with RecordSetter.com, like our approach is we don't want to judge other people's records. Like we're just trying to build a platform that lets people be creative, push the limits of what humans can do, and challenge one another. And yeah, I mean, the, the people at Fallon are super supportive. It's been a pleasure. But you know, they they are they've always just encouraged us to to do what's best for. I'll for tell you what center. I just heard. I just heard they're good people, but sooner or later they're meat for the grinder, <laughs> the record setter grinder. I tell you. Uh, speaking of which, actually, you were we were way way excited uh, even before NSFW back in the BB Live show. We said we had our first world record episode and we thought once we actually got legitimized here on the twit network hey we're nsfw we're big time now so we wanted to have a world record episode um not everything went according to plan and uh we, we've got a clip here justin you want to set this up of our first episode <laughs> well just for context for anybody who's listened to us or started listening to us and haven't gone back to listen to the early episodes and if you have you you live a better life than you would have otherwise because uh you have so much time <laughs> in the day um but we were we were a very new show. We had just brought the show from the the protozoa of BB Live show into the the big leagues of Twit, and we were trying to do some really fun, cool things. One of those was was making friends with with Dan and and Corey at, at the then URDB, 
And one of the records we wanted, we just put out the word of like, hey, who wants to break a record? Call in, you'll do it live. Yep, yep, And yep. one of them was a, a young man by the name of, of Jack, Jack Webster. Jack Webster. Jack Webster. Jack Wabbit in the chat room. And we actually, let's take the way back machine all the way back to two years ago when it looked a little bit like no, this. Because Dan, this is what Dan wants to say, but he can. You want to know all right, why? Yes, yeah. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to be Jack. Hello, governor. I'm a huge fan of the Guinness podcasts, and I learned I can drink 62 ounces of Gatorade really fast. And I'm very excited to go for the world record of 62 ounces of Gatorade drunk really fast. The fastest, in fact, in the world. Get out! <laughs> Get out of my office now! But, but sir, I can drink it really fast. Okay, so that's, but uh, but that's not what's gonna happen. That's not oh. what's gonna happen oh. with the Ultimate Records database, uh, the Universal Records database. I keep wanting to call Ultimate because Ultimate sounds better than Universal. By the way, you know, two years later, I'd like to apologize for telling you what. To no, call we your... changed our name. We listened to you. That's Thank right. You. You're like, yeah, you know what? Universal sucks, dude. <laughs> that's well, and apparently, you've also given him your beard. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you come... lost your awesome uh, goatee, your Van Dyke, and I and I earned it here. Thanks, and boys. you stole it. And you won his record, his he beard record. If you lost weight, too, I apparently found that. It's <laughs> just the whole universe. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Are you ready, Jack Webster? Uh, hold on, yeah. We Do we have an I official got my, uh, timer? I got stopwatch here. Okay, I tell you what, let's, oh, you know what, hang on, we got, we, we, Dan's got one. Dan okay. will tell you go. I'll, I'll use yours. Dan will be the official scorekeeper and the timekeeper and the keeper of his own awesome watch. And in fact, I'm gonna set you guys up on the split screen right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's all yours, Dan. Bring it. Okay, are you ready to drink? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. On your marks, get set, go. Dude, it's really not at all exciting to watch somebody drink Gatorade, I'm discovering. No, because I'll tell you why. No, this is no, this is the thrill of competition, Brian. Look at, oh my God, he is taking this down like a, like an animal. This is like a wildebeest. He's on taking a it wild down African like a two-bit crack whore downtown. <laughs> oh my God. Look at him go. <laughs> Look wow. at him suck that Gatorade. Wow, well, that Brian, is what actually. What you gotta pay attention to is the throat action on this. He's... This is really. Oh wait, oh, he, oh. he's calm down. He's, he's pausing down. He's to breathe. breathe. He's taking a breath. He's getting it down. Breathing it down. is a common right, thing. <laughs> He's already, like, but literally, he's already two-thirds of the way through. Six yeah. <laughs> the chat room is shouting fail, but he's, you don't understand. It's just like he's, he's got. Oh, all right, here we go, here we go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, this is really, he's, this, almost, he's gotten this one out. He's, he's almost, he's out. almost done. He's almost he's done. 62 ears, like, ounces? Like, are you Sanders kidding me? Prime. 62 he's ounces? This one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he is. Oh, no, a little bit more. He has one more sip, one more sip, one more sip. Oh, no, 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 Okay, all right, all right, all right. Class, we're live. We're live again. Classic. That was the past. This is the present. And boy, <laughs> the puke heard around the world, Brian. Okay, so here's the funny part. Like, there was some electric vibe to that moment where it's like, this is history in the making. And, and we were right, but the problem is we didn't know what kind of history we were making. <laughs> to remind everybody again, we were a very young show. That was like the fourth episode. Right? Yeah. Fourth episode, episode number four, yeah. Fourth episode, and uh, we were told in no uncertain <laughs> terms by the press to uh, stop that immediately because it would bring down the network. Well, no, no, okay, so and, and in, in, in His Highness's defense, I mean, he wrote a very, very sweet, well, very I mean, thoughtful It was from, from wherever. Like yeah. it was, it was, From it was fully reasonable as Africa. <laughs> yeah, it was fully reasonable, but, but essentially it was, it was, a, in fact, we joked about reading the letter on the air, but there's nothing funny about it. It's nothing but sweet and thoughtful and encouraging about the, it was encouraging about the show saying how much he, he dug it, but it's like, but, but pointed out like, seriously, like there are radio stations that are not on the air anymore because they've been sued out of existence for contests like this, where there's danger involved. And of course it's like, well, looking back on it, it is safe to draw 10 Homer Simpson. Not so safe to jug 64 ounces of Gatorade. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's, listen, that is what comes along with uh, setting world records, which is what we're going to do tonight, Brian. Yes. We are going to have an epic competition 
uh, with with two of our of our favorites right here, right? Uh, look, two friends of the show. Of course, we have Vincent 404, one Roberto Villegas right here, and of course, uh, your friend of mine. Uh, I, I I keep wanting to call you intern. What's your production assistant producer? Uh, the man in charge over at the Brushwood uh, operation. <laughs> My overlord, yeah. John Tilton, <laughs> who I'm is. serving with an iron fist. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, look, here's the thing. We're going to have them, in a classic face-off fashion, actually try to break the most world records. They don't get to decide their own world records, because otherwise they'd be like, mm, who could sit the stillest for 20 seconds? Well, no, well, no they, they're, they're going to have a menu to choose from. Yes, exactly. Right? Now, of course, they yeah. have some play, right? Because there's the tactics, and there's the you know you got to figure this out, right? So that's why we've had Chatrealm put together a document. How many items in the document there, John? Uh, there's probably about 40 at this point. So 40 uh, options to choose from. Ones that we can do, maybe about half that. About, so, okay, so about 20 <laughs> actual <laughs> doable ones, and we're about to have them face off. Whoever can win the most world records, as verified by Record Setter themselves. Do the, uh, you, guys, you guys like RecordSetter.com, or do you just like Record Setter? Uh, mix it up. We like both. Record, <laughs> record you are the beer setters <laughs> is their names. The Unitarian Record we're, we're, Setter we're, we're, database. In, in the name of the internet, RecordSetter.com, is, uh, we're comfortable with that. All right, RecordSetter.com. Well, okay, so listen, what we're going to do now is let John and, and Roberto pick from that document. Okay, but so like three. Wait, wait right? We got we got to take a moment. We this is this is that this is Fox Channel, man. We get right up to where we're about to have something interesting happen, and we'll say, and it'll happen right after we go back from our well, advertisements. but before we do get into that, uh, unfortunately, so I, I just want to set up everybody right now. Roberto and and John are now perusing the document. They are going to pick their their three, uh, their three things. However, like we showed before, um. There's, there's some consequence to that first episode. And uh, unfortunately, we're not able to do things as freewheeling as we used to before. Um, we've been issued uh, by, by Twit a, an overseer to make sure things don't legally become actionable. I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say overseer. I would say sort of, a, um, uh, sort of somebody who's... It has our best interest at heart. Somebody who is looking out for for us, who wants to protect us. We'll say, say a protectorate, a protectorate general. How about that? Well, he's a very nice guy. I, I've been talking to him. So um, let, let me let me bring him out right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Twit lawyer, Ira Sockman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi everybody! It's great to be on your comedy show. I'm, I'm, um... <clears throat> My name is Ira Sockman. Uh, I've I've worked with Leo for many many years. I was the chief uh, counselor on many uh, tech TV shows, and uh, I'm just here to make sure that everything stays safe. Okay, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, mm, Ira. Uh, what, what exactly? How you doing, Brian? I'm, I'm well. What happened with the spikes? Uh, you know. I was, just I was watching your show earlier, and I saw the spikes. Uh, you know what? I took that your. That was a good look. You, you wrote a very kind letter talking about the liability issues of walking around with spikes, and so I, I've, I've gotten rid of them. They're all. They're that all... was a very prudent move. <laughs> yes, I'm glad. A very prudent move I'm, for you, Brian. I'm glad you think so. Uh, listen, uh, Ira Sockman, we're going we're gonna to run through the ideas uh, that we have here for episodes. We're just hoping you can give okay. them... Okay, hey, listen, pretend like I'm not here. Okay. I'm just, I'm just here to make sure everything's safe. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be here in the corner. All right. And uh, you guys have a good show. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ira. Okay. So let's take just a moment. Uh, Justin, why don't you and I take just a moment to uh, thank the fine folks who make this episode possible? Absolutely, Brian. People like Ford. Oh, my God. How great is Ford, right? Oh, my God. Here's the thing about Ford, okay? They could solve the world's hunger problem. They could? They could. Like, like they they've, they've got the answer at their fingertips? They just take all that amazing, awesome innovation and yep. put it into your car. Okay, go on. Explain that. Like, so uh, you know how me... big of a problem-solving world hunger would be? Oh, no. It would be huge. And in fact, there was a time I was driving along, and I had a really brilliant idea 
to solve world hunger, but for the life of me, I couldn't. I, 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 I was driving. I didn't want to write it. You know, it's not safe to write while you're. But it was something. It was something about hamster nipples or something. I, it was gonna. Yeah. It was gonna save literally save billions of lives, and I, I just exactly. lost the idea like that. Because I know one time I was like, "Yo, I could. I want to text Brian about this idea I have about world hunger." Um, cause I was going to say, let's just feed them old newspapers <laughs> that work, right? Well, no. Okay. Clearly you remembered this idea and you've never bothered to text me. So apparently but that wasn't I a great idea. But if I had a 2012 Ford Focus, maybe I would have, folks. It comes with sync, voice activated sync, not that braille sync that they've been trying to pedal off on other vehicles. No. Ford brings you beautiful access to music, podcasts, and more from just about any device. Listen, yeah, Sync's entertainment features enables you to access music and podcasts from most devices, including iPads, mobile phones, tablets, flash drives, and gerbils. Also, well, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not, I'm sorry. It, 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 it's not like you said gerbils. Display photos from your digital camera or portable device when it's in park. Okay, now real real quick, when you say Ford Sync, you are not talking about something like this. You're not talking about a, a wash basin from a Ford vehicle. No, we're not talking about a wash basin. And if you bring that into my face again, I'm gonna literally punch you right in the face. You can't, you can't. I'm gonna just, you just yeah. earn yourself five I more am. flashes. Dan, punch him in the face. <laughs> no, no right please, now. please. Don't. Ira, Ira, we record. gotta get Ira back involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I demand my representative to take care of me. Well then, we've just set a record for most Internet request to punch somebody in the face denied. At <laughs> Actually, can, can can you verify that, Dan Rollman? W what's the exact record? We can write this Most down. Most internet requests denied. Internet transmitted requests to punch somebody else in the face denied. denied. Uh, I, I think I think we can uh, I think we can figure this out and uh, <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> I'll tell you what, and I've also set a record personally. For most boners popped talking about Ford Sync, because I'm at three right now. Folks, head on down to your local your local Ford how do you dealership. Have, how do you have three? What the biology doesn't even work, dude. You never had a triple boner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, that's enough. <laughs> it's a tribo. You never had a tribo? No, no, it's I like, have it, not. It, you, you set it up in stages like a firework. Like you're like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a tribo, baby. <laughs> Head on over. Uh, 2012 Ford Focus is where you can go. So you, I want you to walk into a Ford dealership and just start screaming, Take me to the sink! And eventually somebody will bring you to one of these fantastic cars and you can see what's going on. Uh, listen, it's beautiful and amazing. And if you don't go see it, then you're going to spend your life crying. All right, where can people go? Please explain to me some kind Ford. of website. Ford.com slash technology. If you are so fat that you can't leave your house, <laughs> is where you can go. Otherwise, go down to the Ford dealership. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, what do you got going on with your day? You gonna sit yeah, around oh. rewatching episodes of NSFW show? No, man. Just oh, go. Apparently, I'm Howard Hughes. I can't uh, leave because I've built a plane. <laughs> I like the fact that you had to pause to remember what the word for plane was. I built a, what do you know, a, a whirling copter with the, with the ailerons. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, Ford.com uh, slash technology. Hey, Justin, I just wanted one. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, uh, I, I, Ira? It's Ira, right? Uh, yeah, Ira Sockman. Okay, I, uh, Ira. Uh, um, favor, next time, that was very funny. We all were having a very good time. But um, just uh, don't mention Howard Hughes. Very litigious estate. Okay, but, but, but Howard, Howard Hughes is dead. There is no Howard Hughes. I don't understand why it's a big deal. Okay, first. okay we're just going to play it safe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. This reminds me of um, one time back on Tech TV. Um, <laughs> we, uh, they mentioned Howard Hughes. Next thing you know, we get a letter that's uh, tied to a brick thrown through a Prius window. Um, very unsettling. Okay. All right. No. Thank. You. Thank you very much, Ira. I appreciate you I'm, looking I'm, up for us. Just pretend I'm not here. Okay. Not here. <laughs> all right. Okay. No. You. You, right. you, you, you got guys. it. All right. Have you, a good. Have a good show. No. Thank you very much, Ira. Uh, anyway, so Ford.com/technology, right, Justin?
Port.com slash technology. That's where you need to be. All right. Uh, okay, so look, here's the game. Have you guys been... Uh, let me get let me get some audio from over, uh, you guys here. Have you oh. guys been discussing what you are going to go for on your world records? We've run yeah. through some things. We think we got some good ones. And, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, they don't get denied by uh, our... our uh, well, well, and that's a good question. For people who want to actually set a record on recordsetter.com, what, what are the qualifications that you look for? I've been yapping all night. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we say hi to Corey and let yeah. him talk? Corey, a Corey, please, please sure spell thing, it out sure for us. Thing. So the basic rules we have for any record is that they are uh, quantifiable and breakable. So if you're creating a new category, that's the, those are the rules so, you're looking for. So ideally, you want some kind of specific number associated with it. So if you, you right. can't be the prettiest, whatever. However, you can have, uh, you know, the the most breasts. <laughs> Sure, sure. Okay, sure. Like, we do have most male, we have most male nipples is a record on our site. <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard. A, do a, doctor, I've... a doctor a doctor, has, has a diagnosed, or I don't even know what the word is, but seven, <laughs> se seven nipples, seven nipples on a man, and he's <laughs> claiming he's growing an eighth. I don't even know what this means, but it's... It's true. No, well, okay. Of course, you're referring to the fact that here on the NSFW show, we had uh, Kyle Gass of Trainwreck and Tenacious D fame, and over the course of the podcast, we had seven male nipples. No, no, no. That's, that is another record on our site. We have a guy. We'll pull it up. Type in nipples on record center. You know what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That'll be the last thing I do live on the air here at Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and have to veto that, guys. Uh, no, no, no loose nippling. No, lo no loose nippling. If you look at the case law, and this is actually interesting, if you look at the case law on nippling, it's very precocious. Pretend I'm not here. Okay, thank you very much, Ira. Uh, Ira Sockman, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, okay. So, 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 what do you guys got? Who's gonna go first? And what, what do you have on the uh, on on the list here? I wish. In fact, uh, is, is is if well, let, let's is... let's just go. Let's go. Uh, uh, I read some Roberto. Options? Yeah. What read, is, read some what are, are, are your three? Yeah. Have you picked yeah. Three? Think it through. Think it through. You, we, what are you leaning towards? We have picked a bunch. Uh, Roberto, do you want to say the, one of the um, ones we were thinking about? Well, why don't they, is this mic on, by the way? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, one of them I'm going to do, actually, is uh, most Nintendo ti NES titles said in 60 seconds. Ooh, that's good. That's good. And what, what is the record there? Uh, it would actually be a new record, so... Uh, the most Nintendo titles. Hey, you're making a new one? That's what the record set is all about! <laughs> Oh, I thought they were established records. No, not necessarily. Right. That's what's great about records. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's, all right. I mean, I was, you want I, me to check I, on I Ira? Know. Well, I know. Mean, you know, both are kosher. I mean, obviously, if all the records that we see set tonight, if they're new categories, we will post these uh, videos. Excuse me, Dan. I think we'll rely on our kosher expert. Ira, <laughs> are they both kosher? Uh, 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 Ira? Ira? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm actually a Muslim. So I don't know. They would be halal for me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go ahead and pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, gentlemen. So where where are you where are you guys at on uh, on your selections? Uh, th there's another one where we want to start a Google Hangout and have the most people kicked in a Google Hangout, so people can keep joining in as there's new slots. Oh, we you just mean keep booting them? We yeah, just so boot them out. Beat them. Okay, okay, so but that's got to be like a 30-second or minute time frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So, so in a minute, how many people we can boot from a Google Hangout? Okay, okay. Now, but that's you as a team, though. We need you guys uh, to compete. We can, pick one of, we can pick one of us. Yeah, okay. We're, we're well, going to see how many, like, how successful we are. I, I, actually, guys, thing. you're going to have to call that ass to leave. <laughs> you can't say kicked. No, no, boots are very, uh, people find that kind of offensive. Yeah, especially in Texas. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. Pretend I'm not here. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, look, look, whoever's going first, go first. It's time, I'm ready to see some cutthroat, throat-slitting world records destroyed. All right, uh, I'm, I have a world record. I believe it is a new record, and I can lick my elbow. I don't know if uh, people know this. All right, now, but... now it's got to be quantifiable. Because yes, it can is. Because it's going it's to a be. binary. You don't want to do that. I am going to uh, lick my elbows every other uh, the most times I can do that in uh, 30 seconds. Oh, my God. In 30 seconds? First of all, yeah. let me check with Dan and Corey. Dan and Corey, is this, is this legitimate? Is this a done thing? It's, it's legitimate. I'm I feel like I might have seen this on the site. Wait, I, 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 looked, so. I looked I don't quickly. So. I don't know if there's a... I Search elbows licked. I think, I think it's going to be a new one. Boy, dude, I just love the fact that you have a... a clipboard and I just imagine all the records of the ages are in there somewhere and you could just flip through them 
At any moment, we're like, yes, Brian, you touched yourself eight times on February 12th. This, well, this is the first draft of our second book. I mean, you have our first book over there. This, oh, is, this basically... is good. Okay. This is uh, hey, hey, guys, I hate to be I, a wet blanket here. Um, okay, I, Ira, Ira, it's, we're in the middle of the podcast. You can't. Listen, just stay. pretend I'm not here. Um, John, is that your name, John? John, uh, John. Yes, yes, that is my name. Okay, you're going to need to not show at any given time more than three quarters of an inch of tongue. It falls into an Alabama right. blue law and it affects syndication. Pretend okay. I'm not here. <laughs> okay, all right. Can, can, can you work yeah, with that? Yeah, I'll try to keep the time. You know, it, that's a little more challenging, but uh, I'll, I'll just I'll do that for the sake of uh, being okay. the air. No, I appreciate and that, John. Thank you. You're a real sweetheart. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Okay. Uh, first of all, do we have do we have a verification that we, we believe this is a new record or? I think so. Yeah, I, right. I just looked it up again. I don't I don't see it. At okay, all. Yeah, we don't see any um, tongue licking elbows. Okay, and so it needs to be you need to you need to get the the tongue. It needs to be every other is the alternating trick. alternating. Yes. Got that's it. good. That's a little panache. I <laughs> like that. That's good. I've not practiced this at all, so we're just gonna see how it goes. Okay, all right. No. What could there's, what there's could go wrong here? Um, the, the other thing we're going to have to see is how close to the actual elbow. I mean, there's a slippery be slope between. Oh, like that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the no, elbow. That's, <laughs> <laughs> it's even better. It's even better that everyone at home did not actually see that happen. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, uh, John, can I get you, can I get you to just, 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 just cozy up next to the Record Center gang over here so yeah, we can get yeah, a close-up sure. of you? Also, uh, Dan, could we please not use the term slippery slope? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm, I'm only going to ask you once. I'm not trying to be a ball breaker yeah. here. Respect, okay. res res all right, here we respect go. Ira. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, pretend uh, I'm not kneel, here. Kneel before Zod. There you okay. go. All right, now face face the camera. There and, you go. Uh, here's the camera. All right, All right, there you go. Okay, now Dan, just give us a ready, set, and go. Go. Wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm asking. Starting the record, we're we just seeing whether he can lick his elbow. Yeah. Well, it was 30 okay. seconds, right? Okay. okay yeah. Here we go. The most alternating uh, elbow licks with one's tongue in 30 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> All right. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Five. Are you counting it? Wow, he's getting a little I'm, fatigued. I'm hearing clicks. From yeah. <laughs> they're going forward. I wonder how many tri boners are popping in there. <laughs> um, I don't know if we can check in with Ira on this, whether or not this is legitimate or not. Uh, no, this this looks um this looks pretty legitimate. Uh, I'll say there might be an aftermarket for this. And this could be its own time. Oh my time. God. time. Hold time. on. Hold on. Okay, real quick. Real, uh, what was the, what was the amount? We have a brand new world record for the most alternating uh, elbow Hold legs. on, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. From oh, no. uh, oh, Record oh, Center. Oh, no. Most, most alternating elbow licks in 30 seconds. Current record is, wait for it, 45. 45? 45. 45. <laughs> 25. Oh, oh, no. What an epic failure you are! <laughs> and by the way, get a picture of that chick. She's hot. Yeah, no, she was. She was way attractive. If you look, I was all set can we to. See, can we see her method? Uh, yeah, no. Double, here, here we go. Here we go. Well, let's take a look. And how many times I can lick my elbow in 30 seconds? Okay. okay. Ready, set, go. Right, oh! I'm done. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, what are, you, are you out? <laughs> yeah, there's, I, I can't beat a uh, hot girl on the internet. Wow, wow what well, a they cool say girl who can lick her own elbow. I don't even know why we're here. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you hear that, Roberto? He just threw that in our faces. He's just like, I'm sorry. I thought I didn't know I was on Amateur Hour, the podcast. <laughs> I, I, I even... mean, that's like running like a 40 second 100 meter dash. Like, that wasn't even close to what we needed to yeah, do. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hey, I don't see anyone else in this room who can lick their elbow, so, uh... Uh, okay, oh, all right. Oh, whoa! Oh! That's Let's... fans on tilting! <laughs> oh, all right, uh, Roberto, you got the chance for the steal. It's zeroed yeah, to whatever you're about to have. Uh, hopefully something. All right, what are you going for? Well, plus, I think yours is an actual new record, so, like, I think you automatically are going to get a point. Well, well, I almost <laughs> feel like we should deduct a point from John for poor bookkeeping. No! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying... He no, he falsely misrepresented himself 
saying that it was a new record, and then he got bit in the butt for it. But we had to do the legwork to figure it out. I think this falls under the discovery process, and he should be penalized. Wait, wait, wait. Who should or should not? Uh, I'm going to have to uh, agree. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is something that if, if you brought this into a courtroom, you would be laughed right out of there. <laughs> if, I, if I did that and I said, hey, I, it was one thing, and then it was another, they would say, Ira, get your Muslim butt back to, <laughs> your go back to law school. Just pretend that I'm not here. Okay, all right. Um, listen, I'm sorry, John, but it looks like you're you're at nothing. But don't worry, you can still come back and defeat Roberto. Roberto, what are you going for? So I'm going to actually go for the most Nintendo titles said in 30 seconds. Um, most Nintendo yeah, titles. The Nintendo Entertainment System, the 8-bit. Uh, 8-bit, 8-bit only. No, 8-bit only. no, no 16. No Nintendo, no, no, no Sega Genesis, no Nintendo Wii. I'm keeping it as, as, as 8-bit as, as close as I can. Okay, I don't no. think his his mic is on. Oh, uh, no, it is. It's just that he's talking three whole inches away from it, which oh, means right, it's right. unable to pick okay, that, pick so it up, unfortunately. Okay, you actually need to have it in your esophagus. Uh, plus, okay. you also have to have it turned on. And oh, you, okay. you know, it's definitely turned yeah, on. Yeah, it was off. There hey, we go. Hey, hey, there we go. Uh, totally but, off. For the, just to bring you guys up to fee- speed, gentlemen, uh, Roberto's the host of my so-called 8-Bit Life podcast, uh, currently featured on, uh, or recently featured on What's New and Notable on iTunes. And so he knows his 8-bit titles, and he will shuffle, suffer the shame yeah. of a thousand deaths yep. if he miscalls one of these. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the, the, the nervousness that's, that's kicking in for me is, is that. And All I, right, so it's 30 I, seconds? Yeah, I've done my best research. It doesn't look like the record's there. Um, I could be wrong, so I, I will you know, leave it to the, the uh, denizens of chat realm if they correct myself. All right, here uh, we go. Do me a favor, and this is a weird one. Roberto? Yes. Is that your name, Roberto? That would be my name, yes. Um, you're going to have to refer to the titles as cartridges of fun <laughs> and not games. Okay. It's a very weird thing. I'm sorry to even bring it up. <laughs> okay. Pretend I I'm not here. I the case for that, though, by the way. So, surprisingly. <laughs> okay, so th- this, the world record will be for the most... Nintendo 8-bit cartridges of fun. Yes. That's great. That was that was perfect. Just do it like that. Okay, all right. The world record for the most, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the most Nintendo 8-bit cartridges of fun named in 30 seconds. Gentlemen, how are we looking over here? Uh, I'm ready to time, and Corey's ready to count. All right, give us a count. Okay, are you ready, Roberto? I am ready. Here we go. On your marks, get set. Go. Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, Ninja Gaiden 1, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, Super Mario Bros. 1, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Legend of Zelda, Le- Legend of Zelda 2, A, Link- A Link's Adventure, um, Tetris, Golf, te- Tennis, um, bl- uh, sh- uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, Tecmo Bowl, um, actually Super Tecmo Bowl, I think. Um, oh. I, no. Uh, Blades of Steel, uh, Hockey. Um, Time. Oh, so how, and the final answer? We have, uh, I believe, a new world record. Well, you have to get us back on the I, I Tecmo think I up, Super Mega. I, I think I messed up on Tecmo Super Bowl. All right, wait. Super. I said it. I, I said it was properly. I, 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 I have to correct right, myself right. on, on, that, on that actual. So you said one wrong and one right, and so the final tally is. Uh, actually, we. We're, we're getting a word in. Um, uh, sorry, I I have a niece who's really into the t- the cartridges of fun. <laughs> she just um, she sent me a thing on my BlackBerry, and said that the Zelda title was wrong. Yeah, I think it was. It, it was, was a wrong Zelda, title for Zelda. Legend of Zelda: Link's Adventure. It's like Legend of Zelda Two: Link's Adventure, or something like that. Talking to the mic. Yeah, talk, yeah, yeah I probably got it wrong. I know, it's, I know it's like hour. Link's Adventure or, or Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, something like that. And I know I messed it up in the, in the heat Listen, of the moment. You have to be very specific on these things. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can count it's that It's a very one litigious too. crowd. There was one time on Call for Help <laughs> that Leo said something uh, incorrect. He misspoke, and it was an honest mistake. Next thing you know, he had a note tied to it with a brick <laughs> through a Prius windshield. <laughs> Very litigious people. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. Let, let's just count. Let's just count one more down then. Just all right. For all right. Of, uh, uh, so, so, so the new record though. We do have a new world record. Nineteen uh, cartridges of fun named. <laughs> Nineteen cartridges of fun. <laughs> Congratulations. That's Here we one. go. And right now, Roberto is <laughs> one up. Holy on crap! Who do we have? Is this another competitor? Wait a minute. 
Do you know this guy? He, he, What's we, happening? We, we haven't met yet, but uh, he, he is going to be uh, driving us to Dallas, Texas after the show. Oh, shut up! The I'm, driver yes. for for the Record Center boys just showed up. I heard my doorbell <laughs> ring downstairs. Uh, here, come on over here, driver. What's your name? Joel. Joel. Here, say hello to these gentlemen here. Nice to meet you, gents. Yeah. There you go. I'll be your transportation. Cool. Awesome. Okay, do, no do you rush. want to break Hopefully a record? No be rush. famous on the internet? Uh, well, then oh. you, you think whatever you want. But we, we have a multiple person record coming yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, we have, we have, we have many records. All right. Uh, well, maybe we'll do that right here. But real quick, Justin, I think we uh, we're actually do, do we have do we have? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin. What were you about to say? Oh no, no, nothing. Are we gonna are we gonna do an ad and then go? Uh, to the I, second I think we commercial? should just wrap up this ad and then we got like hours and hours to go and then we can fill. Uh, all right. Well, Brian, what episode of NSFW would be complete? Unless we talked about our good friends at Squarespace.com. Uh, none, no episode would be. I'm, wear, I'm wearing a Squarespace shirt. You want to? I'm gonna step in on this one, Justin. Okay, I, okay, Ira, that's fine. Um, when I first opened my practice, <laughs> me and my partners, uh, Sockman, Blanket, <laughs> and Goldfarb. We, we wanted a website, but we wanted it to be very, very easy. Because you want to know what? Even though I spent all that time on tech TV, I, um, I did, I'm not really a big tech person, you know? So I wanted to go set up a website that was very easy to do. And so I went to Squarespace.com. No, hold it's, on, a hold beautiful, on. it's a beautiful platform. Very easy mm. for me to make. Oh, yeah. Now, now, Ira, I don't mean to tell you your business, but you're on a you're on an interglobal, hell, intergalactic platform talking to the entire universe right now, flat out stating that out of all the ways to create a website, you're saying that the best one is Squarespace. Now, that, that seems very bold and something that would offend a lot of other ways to make a website. No, uh, uh, number one, that's that's uh, you, you can't libel the truth, my friend. Uh, and, and that is that Squarespace is so easy. It never goes down. And uh, you can set it up, uh, you know, in, 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 a, in, in a minute, you know. I was at a three martini lunch with Blanket and Goldfob, and I said, I bet you I can get a website up before you can uh, pay for the check, you cheap <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, so you're saying to me, <clears throat> you're saying to me that, uh, I'm sorry, what was, what was your name again? Oh, oh me, I'm... Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ira Goldfarb. Uh, I roll, I roll, wait. No, Ira. You're not Goldfarb, Ira. you're Sockman. You're Ira Sockman. Ira, no, no, go, no, that was, that's my partner, Goldfarb. <laughs> right. Steve Blanket, so, Ira Sockman, and Ira Goldfarb. I, In law school, they called us the double eyes. Ira Steve Goldfarb. So irasockman.squarespace.com is where people could go to make their own website extolling it. What a great service you guys offer, right? Uh, I, I, absolutely. Well, mine is already set up, uh, uh, a Sockman, Blanket, and Goldfarb. Uh, but, but you can go ahead and set one up yourself. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Take <laughs> it from me. You couldn't – listen, look at this face. <laughs> Well, oh, they lie. They're they're looking <laughs> from the chat room. It's pretty clear they're looking right at the face. <laughs> but where can people go to sign up for a Squarespace to give it a oh, try? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was done. Uh, go on uh, on over to Squarespace.com or Squarespace.com/slash/NSFW. Or uh, when you when you when you check out, use NSFW12. That's what I used because I can see the future. What, now, what, what what does that mean? Why would you see the future? That I can't tell you. It's a it's a very litigious issue. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. All right, squarespace.com slash NSFW is where you want to go. Uh, look, here's the thing. I don't want to I don't want to mess things up for you guys, but pretty much like uh, right now the score is zero to one. You guys got it. You guys gotta go fast and hardcore to win some awards. And now, go. All right, the next one we want to do. We want to bring jury into the picture here. We're gonna do hey! a three way challenge. Uh, uh, we know Justin Robert Young is a big fan of the word and and can extend the word to outrageously long uh, oh my God. things. So what we're going to do is this we're going to all really start. I, I don't know if this goes against record set of rules to save some time here, but if we all start saying the word and uh, in the high-pitched tone. That and whoever lasts the longest. Whoever's still going. Uh, that's, that's the record. Yeah, so like, that's the record. 
end, and then whoever goes on the longest. No and so, so it'll have to be the honor system uh, with, uh, you know, I, I sneaking in breaths and stuff. But I, 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 I think, think we're all be, trustworthy. We're, we're trustworthy. The, the, the longest, pr the longest pronunciation of ant. Yeah, yes. the longest. Yeah, nice That's and, what it is. and 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 one of the rules, you know, rules are important for new categories. Right, so we'll parameters. just say no. No uh, audible pauses. So no, no breath, no yeah, breathing. Corey, Corey and I can each time one of you, and uh, and we'll you know see what happens. All right. All right. Uh, hey guys, do me a favor. When we list this one out, just make it an ampersand. Uh, I don't want to get into it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, yeah, just do me a favor. I'm not trying to break your balls here. Don't look at me like I'm some sort of palook. No, I, I, I pretend the, I'm not here. But, but it's, the, it's 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 and it's, it's and, and it's it's a regular word, it's Ira. And. Brian, all right, listen, Brian, I can't control. Him. He's okay. just in here. He's he's on over the place. All right, all right. <clears> my <throat> all right, so so uh, uh, this is for the longest, right? And so correct. you guys give us a countdown, and you're gonna time it, obviously, right, gentlemen? Uh, yes. Okay. I'll I'll go with Roberto. Oh, okay, we're actually going to do simultaneously. All right, yeah, they're, they're going to okay. be watching and paying right. attention. And the, when and as you guys, now, here, don't go trying to breathe and keep on going because I'll right, punch right, you in right, the balls. Right. No, All right, of course. Uh, and then, but, but I like that if that was a, if that would be a, a obstacle. Is, is <laughs> <awful>. <laughs> All right, go. All right, wait. wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do w w same time. Are you gonna yeah, do a three, right. two, one? Yeah. So, so we we're gonna say, we're gonna say on your marks, start get your breathing going. On your marks, get set, go, and we'll start our oh. timers at the same time. Re right. Real quick, just just because I've seen this before, there will be a little bit of Skype lag, and Justin's gonna end up starting just a little bit behind everyone else. We'll spot him a second. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, All that, right, here we go. I, I, I call it. So I was really gonna, ready to Justin? call him out on that if he wins. So. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. The longest pronunciation of and. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Oh, wait. wait a minute! I don't know who won. Let's, we will announce them both. Uh, hold on, it sounded to me like they both ended at the exact same time, but I know Roberto started slightly before Justin. I don't know. They're, they're saying too close to call. We'll have to go back. You guys will have to tear it apart on the. On oh the no, screen. we have times. We have times. Oh. We're going to announce. Oh, do you really? Them. Yes, I have a time for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come on, we're, we're the heads of the Record Setter Council. Right. We run RecordSetter.com. <laughs> do we have time? Yeah. What like, kind of a question? What the hell do you think you're playing with, Brushwood? Seriously, man. You get and, this together, and, man. And to show you how close we are, Corey, what was the time you got for Justin? Oh, God. I have 22.44 seconds. 22.44 uh, uh, seconds. Okay. The time. Uh, before, before you say anything else, though, Dan, do me a favor, okay? <laughs> we're going to need you to say the winner in a British accent. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's just a thing. Pretend I'm not here. I, hey, listen, you, you run the show. I respect that. Um, so uh, we had Justin's time to repeat was 22.44 seconds. Uh, John fell apart early on. Roberto got 22.53 seconds. He is set a, he is set a world record, mate. He is set a world record. Hey, Roberto. Cheers, mate. Good on you. Good on you. Let's take him around the pub for a pint and a pie. Very oh well done. God. Jolly good. Jolly good, Roberto. <laughs> Jolly good. Uh, a good uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I tip my, my hat to you, uh, Roberto, although I will say I couldn't hear you, so I, I, I thought you were done. Uh, I can't really see your mouth. By, by nine I, one hundredths of a second. Way longer. Oh, God. oh my God! No, that, that was, was super amazing. Close. No, it was amazing. And plus, like, I'm not gonna lie, and you'll have to listen to the actual yeah, final episode, Justin. It was like the ending of Angels, <laughs> all at the same time. It was beautiful. They all came together. So, uh, it like something was just off. <laughs> John, I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, that's. I I, I am an awful. Uh, Attempter. I'll tell you what, man. Why don't you take one just on your own? See if you can at least get close to getting back on track here, man. I don't know. I, I there, there is one. Uh, a actually, uh, I'm sorry to step <laughs> in on this, but we've already exceeded our decibel limit for the episode. It's uh, and listen, it's a thing. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? 
I don't know. <laughs> Apparently there's a decibel limit, and we've, we've crossed it. Well, what does that mean? Okay, he right. just walked out the door, and now he just comes in and out. I have no he's idea why he's even... I don't even know how cigarette. he got in my house. Okay. All right, uh, John, you got to have something to a have a chance. The solo one I had, and, and Brian, you will know this from spending time on the road with me, um, uh, you know, as, as my personal assistant. Most farts in uh, one <laughs> empty can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, What? <laughs> Uh, no, anyway, um, so I thought I would go thing. for... Uh, that the... record was actually initially set by Carl Lewis in 1985. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Ira. I, I would really End appreciate... Up not here. Okay, so uh, Sockman, I, out. All right, go ahead. I thought I'd go with the, the longest metaphor, uh, coherent metaphor. Okay, now you said by time or by See, number now, of I words? I feel like if I have to do a, an and record, then Brian should do a record with an extended, barely making sense metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> I concur. Ah, uh, how would you measure that? By time or by words? I think by, I, I mean, I, I get up to by words. Yeah. yeah. Word count? Okay. <clears throat> so do we set a time limit and then there's a word count no, within that no, time limit? No, 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 no. You, you describe it as a sentence constructed live in front of people using your mouth face and... As an art, using, like using as many words as possible. Well, I'll tell you what, this might be too too complicated to do two people. So let's just have Johnny do it. And you, listen, you have to do this to get even back on the board, John. Because otherwise this thing is over. I know. It's, go for uh, it. it's, it's not looking good for me, and I, I'm even nervous about this, but we'll see how it goes. There you go. Uh, what are you describing? I'm going to describe how uh, working for Brian Brushwood is like uh, a Super Mario Brothers video game. Okay, now understand. And, and, but it's not, it's not like it is. I was about to say, Super Mario because Brothers if you use game. like or ass, yeah. I will punch you in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is a given fact. There we go. Okay, here we go. So, and, and if you can go at a pace, Corey's going to be trying to count the words along, your, along with your speech. So. Yeah, so okay. just construct them so, carefully, right. and it has to be a, cons a complete sentence. That, that makes sense, an right? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, John. Working for Brian Brushwood, it is playing a Super Mario Brothers video game. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's a sentence right there. Because. Okay, oh, look. That was a good recovery. Good recovery. There are moments. There uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm awesome at this. <laughs> You should really quit. <laughs> you should, uh, uh, listen, and this is really, this is not my style. Okay. But you oh. should probably just fall off a bridge. <laughs> All right, look, I'm not, not going to lie. Uh, everybody Ch Ch chat room's calling it. They're saying fail all over. I think the yellow jackets are, are, are in agreement with like you. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I almost feel like you've set a record for, for most... Epic crumbling on a live stream. Uh, okay. <laughs> you crumble like cheese on a salad. How do you ex how do you explain yourself, Tilton? Um, I, I I don't know. I just I just got so excited about all of the things that made working for Brian Brushwood of Super Mario Brothers video game that I just couldn't pick the direction to go yet. I was I was thinking should I talk about how working for Brian Brushwood is climbing up one of those oh, uh, don't, stocks don't, don't of... Be like, don't be like, hey, listen, sorry, I just couldn't do it then. So I'm just going to say it now. No, listen. <laughs> We're not counting. We're not counting. <laughs> all right, all right. Can I, can listen, I please, 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 John, please, No, no, you can't steal the record. Look, I'm sorry. Look, we're, we're out of town here. Look, I, 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 out of town? We're out of time. We're out of time like it's Thank a town. Uh, not, Brian. What, I'm sorry, what? I'm not town. That's very confusing. Okay, no, you're right. Action. All right, let me just do this. Let me just say right now. There was one time on the screensavers when Kevin Rowe okay. said we're out of town. Next thing you know, there was a Kiwanis club that threw a message tied to a brick through his Prius. Okay, you, you, you've you told this story before. All right, look, uh, here's the thing. The same story every time. I'm, I, look, I'm going to throw it out there. If one person out in chat realm can rock our worlds with the best record ever, you will steal it from both these gentlemen and win the NSFW official world record record setter challenge. Uh, oh, that's odd. I'm actually, I'm actually getting a call right now. Um... Now that's that's odd. I've, oh look. my God! No, <laughs> Zach Webster, for Christ's sake, no! Oh, oh my no. God! Okay. What is this? You can't do it, for God's sakes! Put that down, <laughs> young man. I'm so not kidding you. <laughs>
You're gonna get us kicked the hell off this network. <laughs> what? If you don't put down that Gatorade bottle, <laughs> I will come. I will get right in my Prius and drive it to your what? house and stop That's... you myself. This is amazing. I can't believe we got. Max got... has grown such a beard in a year. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is unreal. Hold on, let me turn it up. Is that, is that really Jack Webster? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Jack Webster, what 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 is your record you want to do? Um, well, it involves this Gatorade here. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to drink it. <laughs> okay, let's check real quick. Uh, Ira, how how are you feeling right now? On a scale from one to a hundred, <laughs> of how legal this is. A hundred being the most legal, and zero being murdering a child in hell. This is negative three. <laughs> All right, well, look, I, I'm sorry, Ira, Ira, look, look, we've got Jack Webster. It is absolutely not going to happen. <laughs> okay, well, okay, Ira, you can't rob this kid of his chance. This is the reason why I was called in. <laughs> uh, okay. This is, so this is... I. Jack, is that your name? Jack? Yes, it is. This is Ira Sockman. I'm a professional lawyer. I need you to please not drink the Gatorade. If you do, we're all going to get arrested. <laughs> all right. Now, now Ira, what here's the... What should I do? The, po the poor kid, he's got the Gatorade. He's called in. He was robbed of the chance to get a record the first ride time around. What, what's he supposed to do? Just hang up and ignore everything? Uh, listen, I'm not the one programming the show. I'm just saying that if you chug the Gatorade, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to turn this into Zuccotti Park so quick your dumb bearded head will spin. Okay, well then what do you suggest, Ira? I'll tell you what. Ira, you're the one trying to tell us how to run the show. Why don't you just tell Jack Webster, whatever you name it, as long as it involves that Gatorade, he'll break a record with it. Go. Oh, I don't know. Why did you just pour it all over your head and get your get your little beard all sopped up and sticky? <laughs> is that is that is that a is, gentleman? Is that a record that the most Gatorade poured on a beard? Uh, I mean, come on. I mean, most Gatorade poured on a beard. I mean, I guess we could do that. Most Gatorade poured on one's face. But I mean, we've seen professional coaches doused in buckets of Gatorade, right? Ira, what do you got? <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't leave this kid without a freaking world record. What do you got for us, man? Uh, he, he, he can't, he can't <laughs> chug it. Uh, how, about, how about he balances it on his face? How about he uh, butt drinks it? <laughs> butt drinks it? <laughs> what is <laughs> butt drinking, man? Are you suggesting? If I have to gets... tell you, it's not worth it. Are you suggesting you have a Gatorade enema? Is that your solution? <laughs> I was never good at coming up with things. I'm like blue cheese tilted. I, I'm, I crumble under pressure. <laughs> blue cheese tilted? <laughs> I don't need any more nicknames. So no more <laughs> what about what about the most Gatorade balanced on one's forehead with the cap off uh, for the for thirty seconds? Can you do that? Um, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> We've got time. Don't worry about that. Uh, I have to take the hat off though, right? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He looks very Teen Wolf. Let me get thing. down on my knees. <laughs> so we'll say we'll say the most Gatorade balanced on one's head for thirty seconds. Is that a w world record? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. All right, how much is this? How much is this, Jack? It's sixty-four ounces. I was wrong before in saying it was sixty-two. It's actually sixty-four. Yeah. All right. So let's let's see if you can balance sixty. See. Oh wow, you're gonna do it on the top of your head. All right. Yeah. yeah. And we'll and we'll say and we'll say you're allowed to sit because he's clearly sitting. When your hands go off, we'll start the timer. All right, here we go. Give us a countdown, Jack. When Three, your hands go off. Two, one. You know, butt chugging. Thank you so much for failing. Thank you so much. Did I really Ira, he was about to set the record. 
Gatorade I'm is so, a lot I'm heavier so than I imagined. <laughs> that's the last time I let somebody in the studio. Uh, Jack, can you show us the spill here? Uh, it's yeah. honestly only just like that much. All right, like, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> let's see it. Oh, there we go. Oh, We're my God. It's all good. over the floor. It's soaking through the carpet. <laughs> That'll sure. never be. How would you spill? You can't even tell. Now, now real, real quick, Jack, would you blame your failure on the McDonald's that you ate earlier? <laughs> um... <laughs> No, that's. I think. I think you have to ask uh, Ira Sockman about that. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know how McDonald's to. McDonald's is a delicious, delicious place, and I have no wet, bad words towards it in any such way at all. Um, well, you know, I'll tell you what. Listen, uh, uh, Jack, thank you so much for coming on. Maybe in another hundred episodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun, thank you uh, so much on. for coming on. All right, thank you very much, Jack. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> All right, yeah. Brian, I've got some exciting news over here. Wait, what? I, what? Well, uh, I want to say this is now official. We have definitely set a, a new uh, a record setter world record for the most uh, failed world record attempt. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes. this is three. We oh, saw no. the elbow oh. licks. The elbow licks was a fail. Oh. The metaphor was a fail. Yes. <laughs> the video games was a success, although there were some failed titles. Yes. And in that gator, it didn't stay on for two seconds. Oh, it was a God. mega fail. That Total means fail. today is the greatest day of our entire lives. Uh, look, gentlemen, where can people find more Record Setter records and they can set their own world records? Uh, RecordSetter.com. Send us your own. And our new Record Setter book of world records is a lovely stocking stuffer. Uh, it's a ton of fun. Tips to set your own world records. Records begging to be set. Uh, we'll, we'll give you guys some to give out maybe on a future episode as uh, prizes for your viewers. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Justin, what do you got to promote, sir? Uh, hey, listen, guys, you can, uh, of course, find uh, the iTrix podcast. Uh, the, if you like uh, magic, uh, you can get that on iTunes. Weird Things Podcast with me, Brian Brushwood, and Andrew Main. And uh, coming this week, I did the audio book for Andrew Main's book, The Chronological Man. And keep an eye out on my Twitter, Justin R. Young, and Andrew Main's Twitter, at Andrew Main. We're going to have a bunch of really, really cool deals for all the audio books of his stuff that I've recorded. Uh, also, hey, can I get a moment here, guys? Um, <laughs> it's been it's been real fun uh, hanging out with you, you guys on your program. Follow me at Iris Sockman on Twitter. Um, you guys have a have a have a good night, and I'll, I'll I'll hopefully maybe see you soon. Okay, don't get in too much trouble. All right, that was a joke. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, Roberto Viegas, Vince 404, where can people see you? Uh, I guess you can find me on my podcast, my so-called 8bitlife.com. All right. Uh, if you want to check out an episode with Brian Brushwood, you can check out episode, I think it's seven off the top of my head. So you may want to look at the Justin archives. did it too, didn't he? Yeah, Justin's been on twice. You so got a bunch of celebs on there. I've had Justin on, I've had Tom Merritt, I've had both you two on, so it's been a, definitely a blast interviewing you two. All right, just, uh, John? Uh, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at John Tilton, J-O-N-T-I-L-T-O-N. John All right, hey, uh, grab, grab, grab the stuff that we're going to do for our giveaway. What, yes. What's the website? It's schwood.vendor.com. Schwood.vendor with two Ds. All right, dot hold com. on. Schwood. I, I'm going to give away a bunch of presents for people who want to give other people presents. If you go to schwood.vendor.com, you'll find the same uh, the same kind of merchandise stuff that I, that I usually have at my stage shows. You'll see T-shirts both for – in fact, I should probably go there if I'm going to show it to you. Uh, schwood. Dot Vendor. Oh, I wrote Vendir. Vendor. Com. <clears throat> Schwood. Vendor. Com. It's got. Uh, there we go. It's got uh, the Professional's Guide to Fire Eating, Cheese Cuts, Wheels of Tricks. It's got the DVD lecture that I wrote called uh, Scam Sasquatch of the Supernatural. It also has three different T-shirts, including two of the I Heart Mr. Happy Pants designs. Or uh, the Brian Brush with Bizarre Magic Design. If you got people who are really fans of the show, here's the thing. Everything is shipping included. If you're looking for a last-minute gift, J uh, John's going to do nothing but, uh, but handle these. Here's what we're going to do, all right? Whatever you buy, whatever you buy on my stupid store will come with awesome, hilariously out-of-date promo from my website. And, and you never know what it's going to be. It's going to be random. For example, perhaps this booklet... From 2003. Ah, look at that. I've got funny glasses. And I'll sign these. There's, <laughs> me, and, there's me and Mr. Happy Fans. There's me covering my face in and shame. And by the way, take a look at that cover. 
or as I like to call it, wish fulfillment. That's as right. Brian puts himself on the cover of Magic Magazine. Well, and by the way, that was that was actually a an intentional decision because I wanted the credibility of people thinking that they saw me on the cover of a magazine. So I made that up. So I'll, I'll throw one of these. And look, here's a bunch of quotes. For example, wait for it. Hold on. Look, here's a quote from Roseanne. Uh, you remember her from the 80s? Um, <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. And also, here are the original posters for the uh, the Scam Sasquatch of the Supernatural Electro. In fact, these are the actual background on my promo photos. Hold on. Let's see this. Let's see my awesome... Oh, wait, wait. Perhaps... Perhaps I'll knock that over. Perhaps you'll get an awesome box that has me ah. with absurdly gigantic hands. <laughs> Uh, basically, I've got a ton of this crap in my garage. I'm going to give it to everyone. I'll sign everything. Um, we also got some bumper stickers and stuff. Here's the thing we're going to do. Oh, maybe. Maybe you'll get a Brian Brushwood button <laughs> that says Brian Brushwood on it. Or an I Love Mr. Happy Pants button. Um, but what we're going to do, maybe you'll get me wearing a blindfold to hide my shame for it being 2002 <laughs> when we took this photo. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I'll sign everything, I'll give it to you, but here's the thing, here's the thing, if you buy any two items, and it doesn't matter what it is, you will get the mystery gift. Everybody gets old swag, everybody gets old promo crap, but only people who buy two items get a mystery gift, and the mystery gift, what, is, what does that sound like to you, Justin? Uh, uh, actually, this is Ira. Um, you're going to need to not call that a mystery gift. You're going to have to call that a secret chamber. <laughs> you will get a, a secret two-disc chamber <laughs> <laughs> that has a secret in its chamber. And how do you feel about laser discs? Anyway, uh, just just hit, hit us up. Look, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a bunch of stuff. We'll just make it worth your while. Oh, shipping 100% free, totally included. And that's it for this episode of NSFW. Right, Justin? Uh, folks, die in a fire. Yeah, you want you want to try saying it, Roberto? Dying a fire. That's right, gentlemen. Dying a fire, mate. <laughs> Dying a fire, mate. Quite right. All right. Love you guys. Uh, Twit would like to make clear that if anybody actually dies in a fire, we meant that as a joke. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> The show is through and it breaks my heart because I just see you next Tuesday to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW. Oh, I'd rather die in a fire than to spend the same. Oh, my God. All right. That's enough of that business. Holy crap, Justin. Tell me, did you enjoy your special surprise that we set up for you? No, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I, I'm so upset that I couldn't show his face and yours at the same time because you had the most awesome bug-eyed expression when you saw that it was Jack Webster. I I was very very excited. Uh, Jack uh, Jack's great. I, I love I love Jack. Is Jack? Uh, he, uh, I, I knew him as an iTrix uh, reader yeah, before he came on on uh, NSFW uh, before, but I haven't I haven't seen him in a while. So it was it was good to good to see you and your. Jesus, your your Teen Wolf beard, amazing! <laughs> it's a month beard, just no shave in November, and then I decided to keep it. How it do, looks good. What, what are you twelve? How do you have a bigger beard than I'm I do? 18. What is this? Well, I know we got to wrap stuff up for the show, but but real quick, you, you guys really legitimately have to run up to Dallas now, or can you hang? Uh, we probably have to leave in you know ten fifteen or something. But All right. yeah. is is there anything you want to say or promote that wasn't in the show? Um, um, no, no, I mean, I mean listen, that's fine. I'm not putting no, you on listen, the spot. I, I mean, saying. honestly, like, uh, you know, obviously where you, I, I, I've said this to you before when we, I was on the first time and I will say it to you again now having been on a guest on the second time. I mean, this, we've been on lots of different shows like this is just the most fun by far. So you guys do something amazing and, uh. I want to promote you guys, not to uh, not All to right. sound yeah. Oh, you hear that, that Fallon? Um, yeah. Um, Put it in your pipe and smoke it. But uh, you know, we're we're on Twitter at Record Setter. Um, we uh, yeah, we're gonna be posting our top ten Record Setter World Records of the year uh, next week, and you guys are finalists. I can't say more. Yes.
I can't say more, but uh, stay tuned for that. Um, you know, we have our new book, the Record Setter Book of World Records. We've been to 18 cities or something crazy. So we're flying. We're flying. We're to, to, we're doing yep. Toronto. Toronto tomorrow. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do the largest group to sing. Uh, uh, Super califragilistic expialidocious. We're going to a matinee performance. Two thousand kids. Holy cow! Of, uh, Mary Poppins in Toronto. Wow. Yeah, I know it's gonna be amazing. Now it's how? Gonna be <clears throat> I, w I was gonna ask, how does it feel to d literally have your full time job to be nothing but spread joy to everyone across the world? Like <laughs> nobody is bummed to see you guys, right? <laughs> Uh, we, you know, I mean, we work hard, but, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, you know, uh, the other day I swapped emails with a friend and he's, he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I just left Phoenix where we just set a, saw a new world record for the most people to, to share a chimichanga. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he just wrote back to me a very simple email. It just said, I love your job. And it was like, you know, for all the hard work and days where we're just like, what the heck are we doing with this thing? I mean, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a true joy. I mean, this has been our baby for a, a long time. And, uh, you know, we're still, we're still working and growing the thing. But, uh, yeah, we, all right, we so, love so Record Center. I, I got an odd one for you. Are there ever moments when you find yourself in the middle of a conflict or all of a sudden you're like, it, it, something gets so tedious they are just like, ugh, I wish Guinness was handling this. Like, I mean, is there ever, is there ever the hard decisions you have to make? Or uh, It's a good question. I mean, uh, I think most, anything that's difficult in our life is mostly about running a company. I mean, we have nine full-time people. We have, you know, a number of people, freelancers on that. So. Oh, and I, I noticed you guys are looking for an intern, right? Uh, we are. We're looking for a few interns. So, uh, yeah, check out recordsetter.com slash jobs. And we're based in New York City. So uh, if any viewers uh, are in New York or just – want to help us from afar. I mean, we have, we're buried with the amount of stuff that we're, we have to do, like from live events to, you know, building the site to, um, you know, we're working now more with brands, so figuring out the business side of things. So it is, uh, yeah, I mean, we have, we have nine people full time in New York now, so it's, uh, you know, it's growing, it's growing, and um, uh, yeah, set world records, uh, send us feedback. I mean, check out the site if there's stuff that sucks, you know, we're, we're, huh? we're our spirit of openness and participation extends to, you know, I mean, same as you guys, I'm sure. It's like you learn. You just you just make it up as you go along, and it's it's a growing adventure, and, yeah, we're having fun. Now, in, in uh, that, we, in we, know, we know nothing <coughs> about making it up as, as <laughs> yeah. uh, I forgot. Let, you guys are consummate pros. Consummate pros. <laughs> I take it back. Well, let me just say this. Uh, uh, record Center is, you know, like, th there's, there's a few times with the show that I really felt, like, so excited that – we've been able to kind of make a connection. And a lot of times, like we've had bands on, like when Get Set Go came on, we really kind of became friends with them. And it was like just exposing a whole new audience to their music. And uh, it was like a really cool two-way street. And I, I really always felt that way with whenever, if it always feels like whenever we get, whenever we hang out in the same place as the URDB slash uh, Record Center crew, it's like, like instant party. Like it, it's always going to be a good time. You guys so. really do have that vibe of electricity, though. Uh, but but and speaking of which, talking about like success and failures. Now, seriously, do do we seriously win the podcast with the most failed attempts live? I mean, Corey. Well, I mean, we can check. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're like guys. You don't understand. You failed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's failed as much as you guys have. I mean, well, we have to go back and watch the first episode because if my memory serves me correctly, there were a lot of fails that there night. Were also. Failed a, that's right. We're we're gonna beat our own record on well, this I, one. And, and literally, <laughs> you, you might think that it's super easy to set records for categories that you invent, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently, it's but, like you can fail. We we had we had what two fails that were invented. We're, we're, we're invented like, categories. Up, like here's they, they my... can literally do anything, and they blew up on the launch pad. I, I do want to give a very special thank you to uh, to Jack Webster for like uh, like he apparently just heard all the scuttlebutt going on and just at replied me saying, "Oh, I hear you're doing a world record episode." And I DM'd him. I'm like, "Give me your phone number right now because I want to do something here." And I told him when I got on the phone, I was like, "I don't care what happens, but I want you to come on the show claiming that you want to." get your ultimate world record and then whatever whatever uh, the the sock puppet says that's what you'll do and so instead Lawyer, it was even right. it was even better because the sock puppet re responded with nothing but panic like <laughs> no seriously don't don't do don't I mean, listen, jump he's, that he just left you don't have to make fun of his uh, fun of his voice it's not a <laughs> oh come on no i can he worked at tech tv <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he sounds an awful lot like Professor or uh, Doctor Girlfriend. 
I don't know. You didn't see, yeah, no. I have actually. I haven't seen Venture Brothers. Yeah, no, you totally should. Uh, okay, look, uh, I, I'm going to take a moment to say goodbye to these guys. I'm going to leave you on the mic here, Justin, and, and, if you want to say goodbye. Also, to... I mean, just I would also just say to all to all your viewers, I mean, the first time we were on, I think we had like 300 followers on Twitter or something, and like you and you said like follow URDB, our old name, and it was like we suddenly got 100 new followers. And, I mean, we've, we've been on national television a bunch of times. Never had we seen, and, and not just getting followers on Twitter as, a, as some vanity thing. It's like a lot of people from your community found our site and started sending us really well, cool records. So, I mean, special thanks to, I mean, honestly, the, all the, the NSFW people that have, have set records and sent them to us. Like, uh, you know, you guys are, you know, like mean a ton to us. So there, there's a the lot records. of them out there, and I'll tell you, it's sort of like we're seeing the second wave of the social media revolution because the first wave is OMG look at these numbers I uh, you can reach more people in a single tweet than a TV show can and whatever yeah. but now <clears throat> you're seeing that second wave where you have stuff like clout.com these things that really monitor user engagement on there and they're able to say like okay wow the, uh, uh, two million people were definitely watching the Tonight Show, yeah. and and three thousand of them bothered to respond. That's point zero zero zero, you know, eight percent or whatever. Uh, and and it is really, if there's one thing that is, I think, the most outstanding aspect of uh, of NSFW, it's it's the user involvement. It, whether it's the ridiculous photoshops that we like to do, whether it's the flash mob type things we like to do on the internet, or the URDB, and, and it's so rare, you know, we deal with a lot of Hollywood types who don't really get that, and they're like, I don't know, what do you got, like 20 people watching? But it's like, to hear somebody who, who is energized by by what we're able to do is, is really gratifying. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, keep keep it up. We're, uh, we are big fans, and it's, it's an honor to be on again, so Dude, you're well, the best person ever. Everybody, check it out. Uh, Record Setter online. Everybody, follow at Record Setter on uh, the Twitter. And do you guys have like a Google Plus brand? Uh, yes, yes, we're on pitch? the we're on the Google Plus. We're on Instagram. We've been having fun. We've been Instagramming photos our whole tour, which has been a ball. Oh my God! Yeah, no. Listen, I'm I'm definitely. I mean, I'm already following you guys on on Twitter, but uh, but I'm I'm pumped to see you guys follow through on this tour and everything. It's gonna be awesome. We'll send some Mary Poppins. We'll post some Mary Poppins photos tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Dude. right on. Oh, NSF.